following breaking news where a teenager has been shot and killed in the Tarrant community. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark is on that story for us first tonight. He's live at the scene. Michael. Yeah, Jim, this is a tough one for neighbors out here. Police said the victim was either 17 or 18 years old. I'm going to back out of the way and let you kind of get a look at what we're talking about here. See, there's a pewter gray house on the corner of Thomason Avenue and Waverly Street up here. That's where the shooting took place. You'll notice there's a tarp on a porch over there. The police chief tells us that uh, the person who lives at that house was there with another witness and claims that a third person came up behind the back porch in an e effort to rob that person, and that's when uh, that person who was attempting to uh, rob uh, this person was shot and killed. Again, you see the tarp back there. But we also want to point out just below the tarp, there is a Jeep that the investigators are trying to put on a tow truck right now. We're told that the person who died, the victim in this, came to this residence in this Jeep and that the Jeep came back stolen out of Mountain Brook. So we're still trying to put together the pieces on how that may have been stolen and then brought here to this uh, crime scene. Uh, and again, police are still trying to verify the uh, account that this was an attempted robbery that uh, went wrong. But this is what the chief told us a few minutes ago when we were on scene. We arrived on the scene. We had a guy that came out of the house and then uh, claimed that he had just shot a guy that was trying to rob him. They went around onto the back porch and it looks like he had shot through the door. And it was a uh, victim laying on the back porch that was shot through the door. We have the uh, suspect in custody. Now, police are talking to that suspect that at this point, no charges have been filed. They're again trying to verify his claim that this was an attempted robbery. The notification for family members is still ongoing at this time, so we don't have the name of the victim to release to you just yet. Uh, the ATF dog is out here sifting through the uh, area to try to find any ballistics or shell casings that may remain out here. We'll stay on scene and bring any updates as soon as we get them. Reporting live in Terrence tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.